Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Z James, this is Z32 Workshop, and this is soon to be the deceased, maybe it already is, uh, Nissan 300ZX convertible parts car. Um, this actually is gonna be a vlog update because I haven't posted in a few uh, few weeks, and that is uh, by choice on me, guys. It's not that I don't wanna work out here, I had something going on in my life. Um, for you across the world who's seeing this, uh, I actually am trying to take, well, I did, I already took it, my uh, professional engineer's exam. So I had to take a few weeks off to study for that hardcore and see how that goes. Uh, test went, takes two months to get results, so is what it is. Um, <clears throat> that's why I haven't posted anything, shown you guys anything. Uh, I know I feel pretty bad because I kept on telling everyone to work every day, and I did that for two solid months. And then I had to do life things that stopped me from working on this. That being said, it is now cold here. Uh, when seemingly we went from summer and somehow summer's like giving a phone call to everyone else. It's like, hey, you know, where are you at fall? Winter, you know, fall's doing one of these. Like, yeah, me and winter are just pulling up. That's like, really? Where's the fall? I haven't had nice temperatures. So here it is, end of October and it's, uh, it's frigid. We had snow. This is the Midwest. I mean, this is, uh, I, I don't like it. It makes summer just way really like that and everything else. But that being said, this car will get cut up very soon, uh, starting here in the next couple of days since I am now done with my exam for studying. Hopefully I pass and don't have to do it again. So that way I can work on this stuff for you guys and for me to get this thing out of here and moved on with other projects so I can actually work on the car that's behind you, work on it some more. Uh, and doing the upgrades I want, which would be suspension, motor, uh, just cosmetic things, walking you guys through some stuff, because there's still certain things I haven't done that I, I, I want to do to the car. Um, yeah, I like to said, this is just me rambling this time around. I'm sorry. Just I thought you guys deserved an update on why I haven't been posting uh, anything on this project. And as you can see, let's rotate here. Still haven't sold hardly anything, because wealth, Frankly, I haven't had time to sell it. Like I said, I've been studying. I haven't had time to do that. I mean, I would study an hour in the morning, four hours at night. That's including work. So there goes my life. My wife, <laughs> wife wasn't happy about it. So uh, just studying takes precedence when I was trying to do something for my career. Uh, that being said, on the cars, I do appreciate all the comments. And I do like the fact that people are finding this stuff helpful on their projects, especially guys working on their dashes or finding this stuff. Guys working on the rear subframe. Like I said, I really wish I would have recorded the, the front of this car. That way I've been showing you. But I will definitely do that from when I do the motor swap. I think that will be the best for everyone to actually see what the process is. You know, not this whole, not uh, smashing every other's channels because it's not. Uh, there are other guys that show us like, yeah, we're going to pull the motor out. And it's nothing but a time lapse for 10 minutes of them moving the motor out. That doesn't help guys who are learning on the car. Especially young guys, I mean, the Z32 platform is now raising in value, finally, which is good and bad. Uh, good, because I really think they're underappreciated. Uh, I, you know, as they are, they don't get the love of respect, but I really don't want them in the numbers of the freaking Supra or the RX-7, you know, the third gens. Um, I don't think that would work well. Uh, that, that gets them into the unobtainium level of stuff for people. Uh, and we had a lot of these, the E32s. I mean, they, we got them imported. So it's not like, you know, an R32, R33, R34 uh, Nissan Skyline where we, or, you know, GTRs. We didn't get those here or any of the chasers or anything crazy like that. So, I mean, and, and even, even in and other parts of the world, they're like, why do Americans love those so much? It's because, you know, we didn't get them. Uh, we may have not loved them as much if we would have gotten them, but who knows? Um, that being said... Like I said, the prices, and everyone's starting to appreciate the classic design of the Z32, which I love, that's the reason why I'm drawn to them. That, and here in the Midwest, I live in the land of <sighs> Mustangs and Camaros, and I say that very hardly. One of my best friends has got a nice Z28 97 1LE car. Fantastic. It's a great autocross car. He's done phenomenally well in the car. He's put a lot of time and effort in the car. It's a great car for that. Uh, that said, it's a straight-up dedicated autocross car, you don't want to ride it on the street. You'll your your back will make you pay for it. it is one of the loudest. The car not running, just driving on the road, 
Shut off is super loud because of the tire noise, the car, the jostling, the bouncing. Um, it's rough. But you see Camaros and Mustangs all over the place. Um, so, like I said, it's part of the reason why I was drawn to it. Because uh, I just, you know, me being me, I wanted something different. And I fell in love with them. Like, you know what? I'll, I'm going to work on this and go with it. And they were, and they still are. There are deals to be had. Uh, but the prices are going up. Especially clean models, you know, low miles, unmolested touch stuff. Those always drive up in value because that's what they do. Um, bring a trailer is starting to show them off. I think the collector's market's catching on to them a little bit, which is, like I said, great because I do want them to be appreciated. Sad because I think the prices are going to start getting pushed out of the way. And now people are going to want a lot of money for things that, in my opinion, aren't worth anything um, in, in some of my aspects. Uh, that being said, I have a guy who's trying to sell parts off mine, so... Maybe I'm slitting my own throat here by making that statement. I'm not sure. I'm just realist when you deal with cars and collectibles and other stuff that things aren't realistic. Uh, side note, another side trip. I was about to sell my axles for hardly anything. Um, and then I realized after I got a, inundated by a bunch of messages, hey, they want them. I'm like, well, I really didn't want to ship them. And then I realized how much they were worth because I didn't realize that you can't get OEM uh, TT brand axles anymore. And I guess the aftermarket ones are garbage. I don't, I don't have a high power, high horse car. So that is like, I mean, and I'm talking like 250 aside. So like that pairs with 500 bucks roughly mind you. Um, which is shocking to me. I didn't think that would be the case. Uh, I, especially since there's so many of these cars, uh, without there'd be a decent aftermarket support by quite a bit. So it's one of those things that just, Little things like that surprise you what they're worth when you think they're mundane. Um, that being said, my axles are actually in good shape. Uh, one of the men's a little rusty, but it's not beat up. I didn't tear it apart when I took it out of the car. Heck, you guys saw me do it. Uh, there are subframes not in great shape. I'm, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna pitch it. <laughs> I tried selling it local because I ain't shipping a, a subframe. It just ain't worth the hassle. Uh, the rear end, I will probably get rid of as well. The pumpkin is just, it weighs a lot. Those things are remarkably heavy. Um, so like I said, I know this is sort of me sign whiting around talking about the car, which I haven't done in a while because I've been doing other things. And I just felt you guys deserved an update what's going on. Um, like I said, this car is gonna get cut up. Uh, I finally got some uh, Sawzall blades, Torch blades by Waukee, which are really good for cutting metal. And then this is gonna be just getting cut. Uh, I need to get out of here. Like I said, snow is happening. I need to get my other convertible into this location, get my wife's van in, my car. It's wintertime, and then I guess the project's going to slow down quite a bit. Uh, that being said, I am planning on doing things. I have lots of little things I want to do, stuff I can show you guys. Uh, hopefully, I hope you guys do it. That, that also being said, these will probably be, I am shooting for weekly updates at this point. I would have loved to have done daily still, but the project doesn't require it. Maybe in the springtime, the project will start requiring dailies again to get stuff done because that motor over there needs to get rebuilt to get put into this, which means I need to accumulate, first of all, cash to do everything. So I need to rebuild the turbos on it, get them sent out. Z1 does stuff. Uh, I am looking for, since I autocross, I don't want high horsepower. You know, four to 450 horsepower is all I'm shooting for. Anything beyond that makes it really pain in the butt to drive, I would think. And I really don't want peaky horsepower. I need power through the band, because that's how you autocross. You're not living out at the edge the entire time. You know, you hit a corner and you drive, drop back down. That being said, I am going to probably spend some money and get the good um, uh, Mike Smith Performance uh, exhaust for the headers, uh, which is going to cost me a pretty penny if I can find somebody to sell them. Get them ceramic coated, send out the turbos uh get them i'm not going to use factory ones but they're going to be the upgraded uh 225s 500s 525s i'm not sure they're ones where they take the simple housing and they uh, put a better different char into it for quicker spool uh i looked into the ball bearing turbos i just too much money and i really don't need that much horsepower i, I honestly don't i don't need to be pushing 30 pounds of boost you know Honestly, 14 pounds all over the place is great. I've got to upgrade the injectors as well, which means I'm going to be sitting at uh, probably Nismo 750s, 
uh, should be good enough for all the application I need to do. Uh, Cause I'm gonna upgrade the anti coolers, which I already have, I have Stolens. I'll probably run those for a while before I upgrade it to Massives or something even bigger just to get a better uh, charge and take cool down. Um, boy, what else is there to talk about? Like I said, I've been busy, just not with this. I apologize everybody, I really do. Um, but this is getting cut and out of here. It's out of here, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, everyone. I know I'm a little long, it's about 10 minutes, it's me standing in my garage talking to you, but I do feel like you guys deserved an update on where I was at. It's been a little bit, oh, and I need to celebrate. As of two days ago, I got 100 subscribers. Woohoo! That means there's 100 people out here who finds this stuff enjoyable and informative, working on their projects and endeavors, which makes me really happy because that's the reason why I did this stuff. Uh, I mean, first of all, for me to do it as motivation. Second of all, someone to show you how to do it. You know, it's just like anything else in life. If no one shows you how to do it, how are you going to do it? I mean, that's how humans learn. I mean, that's just how everything is. You know, my response is a lot of guys, maybe young kids don't know how to work on it. You're going to grab a not very nice looking 32ZX, but if he can get it up and running, an up and running car is worth a lot to a person. And then you could do something with it and you slowly put money into it and time and energy and effort on how to do it. You know, the trick is always having the tools, get those first, then just having the motivation to do it. Don't sit around home and do stuff. So that's gonna do it today's folks. Uh, once again, my name is Z James, this is Z32 Workshop, and I hope to see you guys, well, I would say daily, but next week on Projects Endeavors, uh, or in the comments like I am. Comments in the comments? No, working on the cars, basically what I'm saying. So take care and bye, see ya.